Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will learn about number system. So let's start. First of all, we will learn about the number system. After this, why number conversions are used? Decimal number system. After this, binary number system, octal number system, and hexadecimal number system. So uh, first of all, we will discuss about the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do you know what is this? What uh, number are these? Of course, all of you know about these numbers. And 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. These are the computational results. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. These are also the computational results. And all of us know about these numbers. But whenever we want to store these numbers with any technique in the computer system, then we will use number system so number systems are the technique to represent the numbers in the computer system architecture in specific way or in specific orders using the addresses every value that you are saving from uh, into the computer or getting from the computer memory has a defined number system so as computer architecture supports different number systems so we need to study them and also need to know the conversion technique between them so first of all we will discuss about why should we know binary decimal octal and hexa so long ago humans look at their hands certain fingers and decide, decided to use a base 10 because of 10 fingers but how many fingers does a computer have so let's see how many fingers a computer have all a computer needs to run is electric current the binary states in computer are created created using two different voltages: one zero high voltage means one low voltage means zero like in this picture, this, is, uh, this picture is blinking here, which means when it will blink, it will be 1 and when it will stop, it will be 0. Another example is uh, the computers are built from transistors and an individual transistor can only be on of two options. Similarly, data storage devices can be optical, magnetic, optical storage devices store data in a specific location by controlling whether light is reflected off that location or is not reflected off that location. So, two options are used here also. Likewise, magnetic storage media devices store data in a specific location by magnetizing the particles in that location with a specific orientation. We can have the north magnetic pole pointing in one direction or the opposite direction two options. Here, specific orientation means one's position in relation to true north two points on the compass or to a specific place or object. So all data in a computer is represented in binary. So we can uh, say that computer uh, has two fingers. Computer, <clears throat> all the data in a computer store in binary form. That will be zero, one, whether it is a picture whether it, whether it is a page, web page or email, whether it is a YouTube video and whether it is a Facebook page. Everything will be in binary 0 or 1. Historically, a paper tape and tape reader would be used to input binary like this binary just to represent the letter A. The holes would let the current pass through by letting the circuit complete input 1 and blank will not let this happen so you can see in this picture this is the paper tape to make up programming easy a layer of abstraction was added on top of binary 
and the resulting software was what we know as an assembler. Assembler is used to convert a human language into binary and after this binary into human. It is also used for the short codes that can be understood by a human and after this converted in binary. Assembler would use hexa because it is way too short writing this number rather than writing this binary and it is also less prone to errors. A computer, the PDP-11 computer made by the Digital Equipment Corporation used the octal numeric system exclusively for displaying memory addresses and content. So how many bits octal number system use? Let's discuss. Octal was used as an ideal abbreviation of binary because the bit size of the CPUs that were used at the dead time being 26 and 36 bit operating system. But now CPUs use converted to bit sizes of 30 to 64 bit octal or was no longer utilized because though both are still dividable by 8, they can also be divided by 16 which is far more efficient. If we take a 16 bit binary number that is here, then its hexa equivalent will be this which is more readable and easy rather than using this binary number. Most modern computers use 64-bit architectures which means it takes 4 hex value to represent one 64-bit value. So let's discuss more uses of hexadecimal number system which convert this long binary into this short form. Hexadecimal number system is also used to define memory locations like here it will use 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits. So hexadecimals can categorize every byte as two hexadecimal digits only compared to 8 digits when using binary. And the second use is to, def to define colors on web pages. All of, uh, us, uh, all of us use uh, websites, different web pages. So the colors which uh, we are using here are red, green, blue. These are the primary colors. And these colors are coded in hexadecimal number system. So the format being used is double R, double G, double B. Here R means red and g means green and b means blue so these short code are used instead of writing so long binary and the second use is to display error messages hexadecimals are used to define the memory location of the error this is useful for programmers in finding errors and fixing errors and the next use is MAC addresses. MAC addresses consist of 12 digit hexadecimal numbers. So this is the basically format which means that the first six digit of the MAC address represent the ID of the adopter. Here is the example in the picture while the last six digit represent the serial number of the adopter. So these last six digits uh, represent the serial number of the adopter. So now we will discuss about the number system which are used in the computer. So the computer used decimal, binary, octal, hexa. Decimal use, uh, decimal number system is also called base 10 system and this is octal that is base 8 and binary base 2 and hexa contain base 16. Why we will discuss first of all decimal number system. The base 10 system is a positional number system. It is also called decimal number system, positional number system, base 10 system and expansion method and binary number system. Why? Because of positions, because of base uh, 10 because of 
because we multiply weights with face value this is why it is called expansion method so base 10 system is a positional system where the right most digit is the one ones position the number of ones the next digit to the left is the tenth position the number of groups of tens the next digit to the left is the hundreds position the number of groups of hundreds and so forth the value that the digit represent depends on the weight or position they hold. The weight are based on the power of 10. So here is least significant bit because this bit will represent the number of ones. And here is the most significant bit. The reason is it will represent the number of groups of hundreds, thousands up to so on. That's why it is most significant bit and this is least significant bit. And these are the basically weights and these are the position. Any decimal integer can be expressed as the sum of each of its digits times power of 10. For example, here is a number 6349 and it can be expressed as what we have to do we have to write the numbers and we have to multiply these number with their weight so here weight is 10 raised to power 0 10 raised to power 1 10 raised to power 2 and 10 raised to power 3 here 10 raised to power is equal to 1 why the reason behind is we have to represent here the number of ones if we will increase the power then it will become tens not ones so we will multiply 6 multiply 1000 3 plus 3 multiply 100 and 4 multiply 10 9 multiply by 1 and the answer will be 6349 and we will add these results here you can see that this is ones tens hundred and thousands now binary number system the binary number system is ideal for internal working of computer internal working of computer a binary number system has only two digits because computer has two uh, fingers so these fingers are zero and one so its base is 2. The positional weights for the binary system are based on the power of 2 because its base is 2. So this uh, weight will also 2 like positions, face value, weight. Here is the number 11101. One, one, one. This is the binary number. So position of this number is 1 and next is 2 next is 3 and next is 4 and the weight is 2 raised to power 0 is equal to 1 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 2 2 raised to power 2 is equal to 4 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 8 so we will multiply the face value with weight and up and after this add the results so here is the binary notation of the uh, this system just as with decimal notation we write a binary number a string of symbols but now each symbol is 0 or 1 and we will represent it in table as example consider the binary number 1101 this number in decimal can be represented as so again we will multiply here uh, the number with its weight and we will get the result octal has eight fundamental digits from 0 to 7 so the base of this system is 8 because this system contain 8 digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the weights of digit positions are successive power of 
8. Here we will use the power of 8. 8 raised to power 0, 8 raised to power 1, 8 raised to power 2. And this is the number that is in, uh, sorry, in octal number system. And these are the position. For example, consider the octal number. This number in decimal can be represented as we will multiply this uh, the digits of these numbers 3, 5, 2 with weights. So here 8 raised to power 0 is equal to 1 because we are representing here number of 1's like 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, these are the ones. And now we will add these numbers. And the answer is 2, 3, 4 in decimal number system. And the next number system is hexadecimal number system. A hexadecimal number system has 16 alphanumeric values from 0 to 9 and A to F. Why A to F? The base of hexadecimal number system is 16 because it has 16 alphanumeric values. Here A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13 and E is 14 and F is 15. Reason is to short the numbers. So position again face value and weight. Here we will use 16 as a weight the power of 16 for example consider the hexadecimal number 859 this number in decimal can be represented as we will multiply this uh, number 859 with the weights that are 16 multiply 0 uh, six, 16 raised to power 0 16 raised to power 1 16 raised to power 2 and after this we will multiply and add and we will get the result that is 2137. So <clears throat> today we have learned about number system, decimal, binary, octal, hexa and why we use these number system. What's the reason behind these number system? You need to learn binary to understand how computers works and you may need to learn octal and hexa if you want to do low level programming in assembly language and you need to learn decimal for everyday use because this is the default base of our economic system so thanks for watching and inshallah in next video we will discuss about the conversion from uh, one system to another allah faith